Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. I observe the protocol that has already been observed. Um, a lot of people have spoken and we are all speaking the same thing. Like the previous speaker has said, before anything, some of us are mothers. And I feel for Honorable JJ's mother. Before anything, we are also wives. I also feel for Honorable JJ's wife. Not knowing where your husband is, it's been 24 hours, over 24 hours. And you can imagine the feeling. Just like they've stated, as mothers, for those that have given birth, you know what that means. There's a feeling, honorable leader of opposition, that we have as women. The moment you are told that your, your, your son or your child, even anything, if, even if they're hurt in any way, there is a feeling that we have. And that is the feeling that I've had from the moment I heard that honorable JJ Banda is missing. And apart from anything else, we are also children. We are also children, and I also feel for the child, for the children of uh, Honorable JJ Banda, uh, JJ Banda's children. I also feel for them. You can imagine, and we know how JJ is with his children. He's a great father. Imagine how they are feeling. Imagine them not knowing where the, their father is. JJ is close to his children. We all follow him, and we know that he's a good father. He loves his children. Before anything else, we are not just members of parliament. We belong to families. People of Zambia. I'm speaking on behalf of the people from Muchinga province, Luapula province, and Northern province. I think we have all seen that all this is targeted at us. I can speak this without fear or favor. This is targeted at us, the Bemba speaking people. And the Easterners, it has even gone to the Easterners. It has nothing to do with the personality. Because if you look at even the hatred that the UPND have displayed, it has nothing to do with politics. It's personal. And the only thing that I can say is it is getting out of hand. And all of us in Bemba, we say, And I want to tell the UPND that the Bembas, the Easterners, are larger in number. What they are displaying, we can even do it better than they are doing. The violence that they are displaying, we can do it better. It doesn't matter. They may have uh, the government machinery. How many police officers do we have? You can count how many members we have. You can count how many Easterners we have. So let it not get to that level. All of us who are in politics have children. And if war broke out today, our children will suffer. It will not be a child of a politician, maybe, because we are able to hide our children when there's a fracas, but it will be a child on the street. We don't want that. We don't want to start moving with guns, for goodness sake. This is Zambia. Do you want us to be moving with guns, start killing each other? Is this where we are going? Is this where we are going? Is this what we want as Zambians? Because we can do it. Today it is JJ that has been abducted. Tomorrow it is another person. And you want us to sit back and relax? No, won't. Even everything that is around, even in, in court cases, our brothers, they are calling them criminals. Every, every, every member speaking is a criminal according to them and they must not leave, even people from Eastern Province. We know all these things. And we are saying enough is enough. We are also human beings. And we can also react. We are also very violent, if you don't know. We are very violent, and we are larger in number. 
Our people have been calling to, to, they have been calling on us to say, but why are we sitting back? Why are we being fought like this? Why, why are we not doing anything? We keep on telling them, hold on, we can't do it. We can't start fighting. But do you want us to start fighting? Do you want this nation to plunge into something else? Today, how many of our people are in prison? We have so many people who have not even done anything. They are in prison. Now, it has even come to members of parliament, leaders. And I know that in this country, we have no respect even for leaders. I also want to speak to those people that were issuing and insulting uh, President Lung. Yes, they have power today. And yes, they can say whatever they, they, they want to say. They, they were doing it even when he was in power because they knew the man. They knew that he was a person who could not harm anyone. They kept on insulting him even when he was president. Even now, they are still insulting him. And we know, for me, I have been doing an analysis. Even the people that they claim to have died, those people that they claim to have been UPND, you should check their names. Try to check their names, who are they, and find out where did they come from. They are not just mere people. So we know, it's not that we don't know. We know these things. But what we are saying is we don't want, what we want is peace. All of us want peace for the sake of our children. Before anything else, this is just power. After all, you got power. We don't understand why people are still bitter. Even after sending to, to power that they really wanted so much, what we expected was for people to start working for the benefit of all Zambians. People should have started working. So even all the uh, threats that have been issued, we know you can kill me, but you will not kill a tribe. You will not finish the members. I can assure you, you will not finish the Easterners. I can assure you, we are so many in number. And it is a, if it is a fight that you are looking for, we can fight. We, our people have been calling on us. Our people have been telling us, enough is enough. We just tell them to say, sit back. We have a lot of cadres. We have a lot of people, we have a lot of women that can fight, including myself. So I don't want to say much, but what I want to say is JJ Banda is a father, is a husband, and is a child to somebody. And for that, he deserves to live. JJ Banda has not even done anything to them. They hate him because he's from Eastern Province. They hate him because he's close to Edgar Chagwalungu. The man they hate for doing nothing. So they hate JJ Banda because he's also from PF. So it is okay for JJ Banda to die because he's PF. We are not going to lose our people like that. We are not going to lose our people like that. And we sit back just like that. I have seen the list even of those people purported to be UPND who died. Where they come from, all of them. You should check their names. And that should tell you anything. That should tell you what is happening here. So it's not that we don't know what is happening. We know what is happening. But we don't want to fight. And I can assure you, if you look at history, the people that fought for this, for this country, where did they come from? Where did they come from? The people that stood. The people that got independence from people that had guns. Better guns than you do. Countrymen and women. We shall fight. We are going to fight. If it is a fight that they, they want, we are going to fight. And we are ready for that fight. Thank you very much. Uh, we are almost coming to an end of um, the press briefing by members of parliament. We had support from Honorable Savoy Imboila from NDC and uh, United Culture Alliance, and we have members of the Central Committee from the Patriotic Front that are here. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.